Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk you through a couple of examples relating to factorising the difference of two squares, which we say is type number four. Now, the word difference is basically trying to find out how far apart two things are. So the symbol that we use for that is the subtract symbol. So that's going to really help us to recognise when we're dealing with the difference of two squares, which is, again, type number four. Again, when we're talking about two squares, we're talking about square numbers. So we're always looking out for numbers that could be considered square numbers. So let's start off with an easy example. If we have x squared minus 36. Now the reason for this being the difference of two squares or uh, type number four is because we have a minus which is relating to our subtraction, our difference and both of these numbers or both of these terms are square numbers and the reason why x squared is a square number is obviously because when it's squared it's going to give us a square number and 36 can be written as something squared and the number that it can be written as squared is 6. So that's how we start off this question. We try and write both terms with a square on its shoulder to show the difference of two squares. And finally then to factorise it, all we need to do is share out the x's, share out the 6's and there's a plus goes in one bracket and a minus goes in the other bracket. As we went through in class, the reason why this works is when we multiply out the brackets, the plus 6x and the minus 6x cancel, so you're left with x squared minus 36. Okay, let's have a quick look at these two other examples. So again, the ultimate aim with the difference of two squares is to recognise if both the terms are square numbers or can be written as square numbers and do they have a minus between them? So in our next example, we have x squared minus 16y squared. So our ultimate aim, as I said, is to write everything with a square on its shoulder. So obviously the x squared is already a square on its shoulder and the y squared already has a squared on its shoulder. However, the 16 does not. So before we go any further, we need to say, if I put the square on the outside and my y goes in here, I can't write 16 because 16 doesn't have a squared on its shoulder. So what number squared gives me 16? And that's going to be 4. And then we're right back at what we did before. We've got our double brackets. We share out our x's and we share out our 4 y's. And then we have a plus in one bracket and a minus in the other. And we're finished. Moving on to our second example, again, we want to make sure that every number there, that's the difference of two squares, has a squared on its shoulder. So at the moment, the b has a squared on its shoulder, but we need to change 25 as having a square on its shoulder. So that's going to become 5b all to be squared minus what number squared gives you 100? It's going to be 10. And then we share out our double brackets. 5b is shared out and our 10 is shared out, and a plus in one bracket, and a minus in the other. Okay guys, have a quick go at these four questions, pause the video, and then you can play the video to see how you got on. Alright, so for the first one, I'm going to try and write everything with something uh, with squared on the shoulder. So 25 can be changed to 5 squared. Then I'm going to share out my x's, and share out the 5 plus and a minus, and we're finished question number one. The second one maybe looks slightly trickier, but it's actually very easy because everything is already written with a square on its shoulder. So all we need to do is share it our y's, share it our x's, and we've got a plus and a minus. The next one then we need to be careful about because currently we've got the squared associated with the a, but we need to make sure that it's also associated with the number in front of it. So we think to ourselves, what squared gives you four? And that's going to be two. And then 36, well the square root of 36 is 6, so that changes to 6 squared. And again, we share it our 2a, and we share it our 6, and we have a plus and a minus. And finally then, the same thing, we need to look to the numbers in front of the b squared. So we say to ourselves, what squared gives us 49, and that's going to be 7. So 7b is going to be all to b squared, minus what's the square root of 16, that's 4 to b squared, we double brackets, 7b, 7b, 4 and 4, and a plus and a minus.